Hello there. For the last couple of days, I've been recording a song that I wrote. It's got drums, electric guitar, electric bass, vocals, even some bongas or congas. Don't remember if are the congas the big ones or the bongas the big ones. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, the drums were recorded with the Glyn Jones technique. On the kick, I used the AKG D112. And I also used a homemade uh, sub kick. It was made by a Yamaha speaker. And I used SM57 on a snare. And I used two of the SE Magneto large diaphragm condenser as overheads. These are actually very affordable microphones that sound really, really awesome. You can use it on drums, you can use it on vocals and acoustic guitar, especially acoustic guitar, they are good. If you find them, buy them. They are really affordable. Uh, they don't make these anymore, however, I sure wish they would because I really love this one. And that's it on the drums. Both the AKG D112 and the Subkick went into the Pro VLA2 compressor. And after that, it went into Clark Technique uh, Poltic style EQs. The snare drum got EQ'd with the Golden Age Project EQ801, which basically is a Neve style EQ. Then it went from that into the warm audio 76 style compressor and then into a Clark Technique Poltic style EQ. And the overhead, they got EQ'd on the console and then it went into the Clark Technique LA2A style compressors. After that, uh, they both went into the Clark Technique uh, Poltic style EQ. So as you can see, this has been recorded with affordable gear. And if it sounds good or bad, you be the judge. Until next time, hit the like button, please subscribe, it will help me a lot. Until next time, enjoy. Bye.